thanks very much for making the time to talk today. Obviously, congratulations in being involved in the ECB 55-man squad. Um, what's that meant so far and how does that, I guess, start with your involvement going forward into the season? Uh, well, thanks for having me, uh, firstly. And um, with the 55-man squad, um, obviously, I'm really honoured to be in kind of the 55. And I think for me, the main thing was kind of actually being allowed to train again was kind of the nicest thing to come from it. It's been so long and I've been feeling all I want to do is to be able to kind of hit some cricket balls again and to actually be told you're allowed to do it again was really nice. And um, But I've still got to wait a couple of weeks. Well, it's on the 22nd, I'm allowed to actually start training again. So I've just been kind of in the meantime is just kind of like I did throughout of uh, the whole time we've been on furlough is just trying to look after my fitness um, at home. So I just go out on long runs and I, obviously everyone's been doing these five, 10 K challenges and stuff like that. So I've been doing a, quite a bit of long distance running, um, but I've kind of, I'm just trying to get kind of back to, I've been trying to keep on top of my strength work, but the gym, obviously I have, um, I was able to get a couple of weights before it, we actually went into lockdown from the ground. So there isn't actually, too much I can do um, at home but I've just been trying to tick over with that stuff so that when I do start training I'm not kind of trying to keep uh, catch up on my fitness stuff that I'm in a good place to get going straight away. How did you find out about being involved in the squad? Uh, I got a text message from Mo Bobat who's the performance director um, and he was just asked me could I have a phone call um, and obviously, it's quite weird to be receiving a text message um, from him. Um, well, you just don't expect kind of to be. So when he messages you, it like, I just assumed, like, I was like, oh, well, it's probably good news. Um, and then he rang me that afternoon and just mentioned kind of the plans of how they're looking to kind of get everyone back to cricket um, in this squad and kind of said that for me it was kind of the 22nd and I was then just buzzing knowing that I had a date to look forward to whereas obviously before it's been oh we're not starting like this is when cricket's going to start again and then every time it's just been knocked back and knocked back and knocked back and now I think county cricket's looking at an August start hopefully um, so it's just nice to know that in two weeks time for me now I'll be able to kind of be hitting cricket balls and hopefully a little bit closer to hopefully playing a match this summer. Playing for a county where you've got other people involved within the squad, have you spoke to people like Root, Best and the like who will start up sooner? Uh, no, I've not actually spoken to him about it, to be honest. Um, I know Root, he's training down in Nottingham um, because he's uh, Sheffield, like based in Sheffield. So I think it's closer for him to travel there than it is to Edinley every day. For I don't know how long the hits are as well, but um, I know kind of obviously everyone in the squad I know the lads I've spoke to who haven't been selected um, are kind of jealous just on the basis of kind of being allowed to train because um, obviously a lot, well, for most of us, it is literally a hobby that we're lucky enough to be able to kind of get paid to do it full time. Um, so for when we're told, like, so they just want to be hitting balls and with being on furlough, it doesn't make sense that a club cricketer is allowed to go to his local net and train. but um, as a professional, you can't go to your local club and train in a non like as a recreational hobby instead of kind of seeing it as your job. You're not allowed to, so it's quite hard in that respect to kind of try and like. So that's kind of where their jealousy lies, is they know, oh, well, he's training. Why can't we all be in and stuff like that? So it is a little bit frustrating for those guys. And like I said, I'm just buzzing to be able to kind of go and hit balls. I was going to ask about that. So why have they said that county players not selected in their squad can't go and play at their local club to train? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's along the government guidelines or something with the furlough. And I think the, I don't, I don't know kind of that much into the scheme or stuff like that. But I think that it's something to do with that that doesn't allow you to be doing your job. And obviously your job is, but like... Um, my thing is, well, so a footballer wouldn't be allowed to kick a ball up in his yard or something like, so that was kind of, but obviously it's just one of those things that I think we've just got to actually just abide by the rules that we've given and uh, just get on with it as best we can without kind of breaking them just because of the consequences that could happen to the club 
if we did like if someone did break it then it, I think it actually stops the whole furlough scheme for the club and they'd have to pay it all back which financially would be massive for the club.